We have Ben Shapiro, the GOAT, at Oxford, destroying an anti-Israel activist. Let's roll it. Attempting to kill terrorists and civilian casualties are a cost of war. That is just a reality of life. During World War II, there were 70,000 Brits who died during the Blitz bombing, and there were 2 million Germans who died, civilians, who died during World War II. And I don't see a lot of monuments in Britain because of the 2 million civilians who died in Germany. The costs of war are brutal, they're terrible, they're horrifying. There's a vast difference in the moral scope between deliberately going into a civilian area and murdering everyone you can find and trying to kill a terrorist who is deliberately hiding beneath a civilian area, hiding their rockets in civilian areas, starving their own people. And there is a vast difference. Okay, so let, let me, now I can test my question. If you don't mind. So my question is, do you believe that there is a moral difference between Hamas going into, for example, Far Aza and murdering entire families and Israel attempting to target a terrorist and accidentally hitting civilians. Israel is effectively doing the same because Gaza is the most densely populated region in the world. There are 15,000 people per square mile. So does Hamas get immunity because they're there? So Hamas gets immunity. So Israel has killed 3,500 children in the past. Ben Shapiro laying down the law and he's not wrong. He's the goat for a reason. And as somebody that has tried to learn from this conflict, meaning myself and has tried to listen to as many Palestinians as I possibly can, whether that's on somebody else's podcast or I'm listening to them on the radio or on Pierce Morgan's show, no matter where it's at, I've seen a theme and a trend coming from all of them. And it branches into kind of three main themes. The first one being is that there's a Palestinian person that's pissed at Israel for killing Palestinian civilians. So they're taking all their anger out on Israel. But what I've noticed is they're not taking their anger out on Hamas in any way, shape or form. They're always directing it at Israel. And I find that odd because it's Hamas that is the primary reason as to why Israel is killing not just Hamas, but sadly civilians as well in the attempt to kill the terrorists in the first place. So Hamas is creating this whole conflict out of the Gaza Strip into Israel and vice versa. So you would think that, yes, you would have some anger on the Israelis for killing your people, but also 
on the elected government of Hamas that was created by your people in the first place, you would think you'd be some sort of pissed at them. And the other side of it I've seen is that they're not willing to condemn Hamas, but they're also walking a fine line of, well, we don't like what Hamas is doing, but because Israel has done atrocities in the past and the present, they kind of deserve what's come to them. And Hamas is the one that's given it to them. Or they just won't condemn Hamas at all and then just purely take out their anger on Israel and Hamas can't do anything bad. I mean, they will not condemn them at all. So those are kind of the three trends I've seen. I have not seen you guys, anybody on the Palestinian side go, hey, you know what? Israel has done a lot of things that are bad, but boy, oh boy, is Hamas, this terrorist organization that has not led our people in the right direction for like a decade or two. And we should rise up against them and join with our neighbors, the Israelis, to go against this terrorist organization because look at the way not only they've governed poorly, but also they're the ones that are resulting in our people and our family members and our friends dying in the Gaza Strip. So it's just amazing to me to sit back and kind of watch this happen. It's terrible. I mean, it is freaking terrible to see Israelis die and Palestinians die. I don't think Palestinians are terrorists, by the way. I feel terrible watching this unfold. But Hamas is a terrorist organization. I got pushback from Palestinians on my videos for saying Hamas is a terrorist organization. They were defending Hamas. It's so insane to me that you're willing to defend a terrorist organization. Wild. So that's Ben Shapiro for you. We have a few people that have commented on this clip here. One is Not The Rock 33.3% Soldier Boy Jag saying, so his whole justification is, but the terrorist hides in a civilian area, so collateral damage is just part of the parcel. Yeah, welcome to war. By the logic, any government could say there's a terrorist anywhere and attack that place. Correct. And if civilians die, so what? Ben needs to check his morals. No, that's literally what happens. Welcome to the real world, dude. That is actually what happens. There's an assessment that is done on the back end going, how many civilians are going to die? What's going to be the casualty rate? And is it worth killing those civilians to kill this terrorist? Because those few civilians that will die might end up saving thousands of people from being killed. So this guy doesn't live in reality. It seems like a lot of people do actually live in reality that are commenting on this video, but a lot of them are Ben Shapiro fans. But as I've mentioned, it's odd to me how you have people that aren't able to make the connection between the British and the Germans and what took place in World War I and World War II, hell, any war, and kind of make the connection to what's happening to the Palestinians from Israel in terms of trying to take out terrorists that are using these people as human shields. And kind of their comeback, as you saw in the video, is, well, where are they supposed to go? Anywhere but there. How about that? How about you leave the north and you go to the south like the leaflets have told you, like the air raids have told you, like the Israelis have told you. Everybody told you, get the hell out because we're about to run roughshod over this neighborhood. We're about to turn it to rubble. Why would you stay there? Why would you stay there? So again, yes, point your anger at the Israelis because I think there's some anger to be had there because civilians are dying. And it's never a good thing. But you should also be directing a lot of your anger at Hamas that caused this whole issue in the first place by going into Israel and killing innocent people. They started this bleep. I'm not saying disregard everything that happened in the past for a moment. They started this and boy, oh boy, is Israel going to finish this? You pissed them off and you got the United States, the largest military in the world that's going to back them up. What'd you think was going to happen? I mean, you got to be a knucklehead, right? You got to be to think like, oh, well, nothing's going to happen if we go and massacre basically the 9-11 event of Israel. We kill a bunch of Jews. Nah, nothing's going to happen. It's just Israel is has one of the biggest allies in the world called the United States. Like, what the hell did you think was going to happen? You think we're going to roll over like a turtle and just allow it to happen to our allies? Are you insane? So <laughs> just wild stuff, wild stuff taking place. And if that wasn't wild enough, I hope you enjoyed that clip from the bald Brad show. If you did make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.